Today I'm actually going to be doing two reviews on wigs that I purchased online. Um, one from Divatress and one from Amazon and I'll post those links in the description box. But um, the first one we're going to do is, they're both actually um, equal free dress. I think that's what it is. Free dress equal. Uh, the first one we're going to do is Danity from Free Tress. Uh, it's a Brazilian natural collection. Um, it actually has two clamps in the front and one in the back as well as an elastic band strap. So if you kind of need to adjust it a little bit more, that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw her on. Um, as you can see, she's very wavy, very pretty, very luxurious. I'm like already in love with this. But um, I'll go ahead and put it on. It hurts so good Okay, so this is designed to be an L part, uh, side part, but I'm notorious for middle parts. So, um, ooh, golly. So I just put it in the middle, but you can wear it how you want. I slap this on without any tweezing of the scalp. Um, I feel like all I would need to add here is just some concealer in the middle. Um, they give you a lot of space really in the scalp. They're pretty generous with the lace, so that's good. But I think the only thing I'm gonna do there is just put some concealer on. I'm not gonna do too much tweezing. Um, as far as shedding, I'm getting some right now, but that's only because I just cut my lace. I just cut the lace off. That's the only reason that's happening. So, But when I took her out the package today, I only got literally one strand. And I was like running my fingers through it. So um, the only reason I'm getting shedding now for the most part is just because um, I just cut the lace around the perimeter. So that's the only reason you'll probably see any shedding. Um, but honestly, <laughs> she's fabulous. I love the body. As far as thickness, it's more of a um, kind of a realistic thickness. It's not too thick, but it's not thin either. It's like just right. It's very manageable as far as thickness. You can move it around easily. Um, yeah, so it's great. I would say I'm not good with length. I just get stuff because it's cute. But I'm going to say this is a good 20-some inches. Yeah, it's very soft, very silky. I don't intend on putting any heat on this one just because <laughs> I've been very disobedient in the past with my wigs and I've noticed the more you put heat on them the more stiff they become and just you just decrease their lifespan even quicker so I've learned <laughs> the hard way to not put heat on my wigs um, in order to keep her body the most I'll probably do is just roll it up with some rolls, flexi rods, perm rods, a mixture of all those. Um, for the most part, I'm really going to do my best, even though I love heat. I'm not going to put no heat on this. Um, if y'all are looking for her, I got this from... Mm, mm, mm. I purchased this from Divatress. She is from Divatress. Danity color 2. I got color 2 this time because it's more uh, realistic to my actual hair color. Um, she looks like really 1B-ish right now, but honestly, it's a dark brown, and that's kind of what my hair is. Um, if you want your wigs to look more realistic, kind of try to match it with your hair color if you're going to have like the little, you know, kind of perimeter baby hairs. It just looks better. You don't want to have like pitch black hair, pitch black hair, and then like your little baby hair sticking out or blonde that's extreme but like dark brown or medium brown you want to try to match it as much as you can and then that way you don't have to do much like touching up um because for the most part i would just use like black eyeshadow to touch it up little trick 
the cap very natural size it's not too tight on my head right now i haven't even adjusted the straps in the back the strap in the back i don't think you're gonna need to adjust the strap in the back i didn't so um it's not too tight like it feels like it's not even there so if you guys are kind of worried about that it lays very well um i don't see any stick out flyaways or anything like that like it lays very well it is i will say this it is a little thin at the top um i mean it's an all-around realistically thick wig but um like you'll see at the top like in the back you'll need to i don't know if you can see it but you'll need to kind of make sure that you got everything covered back there because <laughs> You don't want to be looking crazy. It's just a little like thin at the top, but like it gets more in the thickness at the bottom, if that makes sense. Um, they put a lot of those little filler hairs. So just be careful. If you're like really experienced with wigs, you'll know what that is. You're like, okay, whatever. But if you're like new to buying wigs, just know that that is there and you just want to make sure like everything is kind of intact at the top. Um, but that's really all I have to say about her. Um... I'm really not getting any tangling right now. She's very run your fingers through her. No shedding. So I think all my lace shedding is done. I didn't get any shedding from that. So next we have y'all. Ooh, ooh, please excuse my bald head. But next we have um, Carissa. This she is luscious. Okay, listen to me. I saw a wig review on Carissa, like three different videos, but this one girl, I just, I, she made me buy it. I was like, oh my God, I might drop the link of her video as well, so like you guys can go watch hers as well, um, but it just looks so luscious on her. I was just like, I'm buying it. It was like a huge impulse buy, but I don't regret it because it looks exactly how it looked on her. Um, as you can see, this has way more curls then Danity, which I love. This will definitely be like my girls' night out wig because it's just like it's so voluptuous. So I'm gonna pop her on, but um, I already cut the lace around it. I already went ahead and did that already. This one actually has more of a defined lace um pattern, I guess you could say, more of a defined lace uh placement. Um, that one, the Danity one's more like a straight cut lace. I didn't have to do much like twisting and turning, but this one, I guess they created it. To be more similar to the natural hairline placement like the natural hairline doesn't just go like this it's like as you can see it just goes whoop in and out so this is how that one actually was which i really like that's like a big attention to detail type of thing um they were actually this lace part here is a little bit a little bit thinner than danity's um danity's had like a little bit more lace that shows so i didn't have to do i didn't have to do it had a little bit more lace that showed, so I didn't have to do any plucking. But I might pluck this one just a little bit. I might not. Um, I'll see how it looks after I put my concealer on it. It hurts so good. some adjustments here just because oh, look at that flip you see that flip I'm gonna do some adjustments here just because she's giving me life so I gotta give life right back to her you hear me all right so oh my goodness gracious Carissa girl why you had to do them like that Okay, so there's um, shedding just coming from the lace part because I cut the lace off and that's the only place that's coming from. I ran my fingers through her again as well before I cut the lace and there was no shedding. And it's not even a lot coming from the lace. I must have cut that real good. But do you see this body? Let me tell you something. Let me tell let the church say amen one time. One time. <laughs> Listen. Listen, okay, if you're looking for a wig with body, with lush, and like, flavor, you need to get Carissa. Because she will just slay everyone's life around you and just serve it up. That silhouette, though. Okay, I will say, like, if you go from Danity 
to Carissa. There's a slight difference in texture. Um, Carissa is a little, just a tad bit more coarse, and I really like that. You can even see it in the texture, like, once you buy it, and you if you put them together, like, there's a difference in texture. Just a smidge. Like, if you're kind of used to wigs and, like, what they look like, you can see a slight difference, and you'll feel a slight difference in texture um, when you go from one to the other. It's not a huge difference, but it's like, like I said, if you kind of have, like, history with wigs, you'll feel the difference just a little bit. It's like a slight coarseness, which I really like because that's more like my hair. Um, this retail price was $36.99 on Amazon, and like I said, I'll drop that link below. So, just like a $3 difference. So, just to keep them looking fabulous, you looking fabulous, try not to put any heat on them. Um, yeah. And I'm like, excuse how ca I look so casual, but I just got out of class, so and I really wanted to go ahead and do this review before I messed around with them and before I cut Danity's length a little bit. I wanted to do a review. But thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I hope this helped and inspires you to go buy you a good old wig. Anybody that knows me knows I love wigs, so I figured I would, you know, start talking about them and doing reviews on them. So, guys, thank you for watching. And be fabulous and be you and get you a big child. So. <laughs>